Hi folks, this is Roge out in Tiki Grove. Uh, many of you have come to me in the past and you've asked me, hey Roge, you mean, wh what do we do about this, you know, problem? And, and the problem uh, that I'm talking about is the fact that uh, many of you have recognized that society has pretty much gone a different way and you're totally not comfortable with, uh, with what's going on. You see rampant corruption, you see rampant criminality, uh, you, you, you see no capacity of any of the governmental systems to maintain uh, uh, justice. In fact, uh, many of you uh, have recognized that these governmental systems are designed to specifically deprive you of justice. Uh, some of you are terrified that these guys actually, uh, their plans are to actually get rid of us all by uh, 2025. I mean, you see what's going on with Fukushima. You see the abs what appears to be, you know, complete incompetence in the way that entire situation was uh, uh, created and, and, and is now being dealt with. And it's really not, uh, really not, uh, incompetence it's actually uh, malevolence um, that's just one of the ways that they're looking at uh, you know calling the herd and uh, you and I are the herd so uh, but you're supposed to be okay with all of that because you know you're, you're you're supposed to take one for the team and uh, um, you know you're supposed to go away uh, you know to make sure that uh, the criminals that got rid of you uh, have everything that they need uh, and have all of your stuff so you know, here we go. We're looking at uh, uh, we're looking at a total collapse of the financial system. We're looking at uh, a loss of government control, uh, well, or at least the appearance of a loss of government control. We just don't realize, you know, what's governing here. Uh, and you know, we're at a loss. There are many of you that are high up with that, that started out with the attention, uh, the intention of, uh, you know, actually doing something good. You know, a lot of police officers, they start out, even attorneys, you know, people in government think that, you know, hey, I'm oh, totally, uh, I'm totally going to, you know, get to the bottom of it and I'm going to work and, 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 you know, try to do something to fix this. You know, and then once they get in, they, they realize how effective that trap is. And they're, uh, they get sucked into this and, and they have no options. They don't have any more flexibility in, in, in what it is that they're doing than the common man does. They're locked in. I mean, we have effectively created a trap, an egoic trap, that we're not going to escape. And uh, I, I believe it was Einstein who says, you know, we're, we're not going to solve a problem using the, you know, the same means uh, that got us into the problem in the first place. You have to realize that this is an egoic trap. This is a trap of perception. Okay? This is a trap of how our perception was manipulated to the point where uh, we have thoroughly convinced ourselves that there is no way out. Or if there is a way out, that it requires um, us to fight, or die, or 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 you know requires conflict, or it requires the you know specific getting rid of you know certain people that believe a certain way, and, and, and nothing's further from the truth. We look at our society and, and we feel completely powerless, and we feel completely powerless. It, because we, we, we don't appreciate uh, a power when when we see it. Now, I've decided that there is a solution to this. Uh, it's an easy solution. It can be done with as much secrecy as as, as people are uh, comfortable with. And it can be as open and as um, as blatant in, in front of everybody as people are comfortable with. Uh, so, you know, here, here is here is here is the strategy that I, that I I have taken. Uh, whether or not you take it, uh, that's entirely up to you. Uh, you are under no pressure whatsoever. 
uh, other than the fact that uh, time is on my side. Uh, society uh, is about to create significantly more suffering for all of us uh, than I think most of us are prepared to sustain. So, what's the strategy? The strategy is this. Society and civilization are based on a civil contract, a social contract, if you will. All of its power comes by way of that social contract. That is where all of these entities and we, do, uh, this society derives its power to force people to do certain things. That's where the power is. And we don't realize when we actually enter into that contract and when we perform to the terms of that contract. What we need to simply do is withdraw our consent from the contract. And since civilization is based on a social contract, and since a contract uh, and any civilized system is based on, uh, uh, must provide remedy and recourse to the law, and I don't mean statute, I mean to the law, to your base state where you enjoy all of the rights that, that you come equipped with uh, a, 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 as a man or a woman. How do you get back to it? Well, you withdraw your consent from the contract whereby you've waived all of those rights. Very simple. Now, I'm creating uh, a, a page here on Facebook. Might as well do it right in front of everybody. Uh, the inf I have additional information. You don't have to just simply listen to me and what I say about it. You can, there are other people that are actually really good at that. And I'm going to include some videos about people who actually speak to this concept of consent and, 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 re and recognize the potency. It doesn't hurt uh, uh, from those of you that have actually gone through the ego suppression process and you know who you are. Uh, to actually offer testimony that what I say is actually correct and how one can actually enjoy um, a, 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 a significant amount of freedom, a significant amount of choice, a significant amount of security and protection from a society that is criminal. Now, the strategy includes this. Uh, I'm going to include uh, text of uh, uh, just a simple declaration that says, hey, I n no longer consent to civilization. I no longer consent to the social contract. Everything I do from this point forward is done under duress. And I take no responsibility for any criminal action that I am now forced to engage in. And then... Since you know in your mind and in your heart that you don't consent to what's going on in, 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 in this place, you no longer have to suffer the consequences for that criminal behavior that you are forced to engage in. Now, you don't even have to tell anybody that you're doing this. You don't have to change any aspect of your life at all. Just simply, in your heart, you just remove consent, at which point you stop sustaining the consequences for that criminal behavior. And those people who are deliberately forcing you to do that, take responsibility for that. You're either in, you either withdraw your consent, or you are one of those that are going to be responsible for the criminality of civilization. Very easy. And you'll be able to, t soon you'll be able to tell the difference. They're not right on. You'll be able to look at them and say, hey, you know, that guy is really suffering the consequences for civilization's criminal behavior. <laughs> you, know, you know, look at his face. You know, I mean, shoot, he's he's growing, a, a, you know, another arm on his back or, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but this is what I'm what I'm talking about now. The idea is this, since it's so simple uh, and anybody can do it. Uh, you simply post that declaration uh, someplace on a public venue. Hey, you know, the page I got on Facebook is fine. Hey, your own wall is fine. Uh, you know, if, if, if we all, and I mean all, get together, and I don't care what level of government you are, I mean, you might be one of these guys that, that, that you know, had an idea of that, that you wanted to change things, and now you're trapped, and you don't know what to do. Well, you can do what everybody else does. You can just withdraw your consent.
then now everything you do is no longer you. Hey, and and at, at which point, hey, you were tricked into that, uh, and, and and now what you're doing is is you're acting in a concrete, uh, real, earnest way to reconcile the, the situation. Now, I made me a little pin. I mean, it's nothing fancy. I just took. I, I, I just printed out this symbol and I'm going to put this symbol on this page so it, it'll be a PNG. It's not very big. Um, so then I just printed on a piece of paper. Uh, you know, I, I glued it to a piece of metal. Right? I just glued it to a piece of metal and then I just put some tape over it so if it gets wet it doesn't, it doesn't discolor. Then I just take a little neodymium magnet and it just sticks on there like that. You know? And uh, I can wear this around. right so if somebody asks you hey what's that symbol all about you know you can put it on your car or you can put it on here and you know even when you sign a check or you sign something a contract you know after your name you can just put a little circle and a slash or it would go yeah a little circle and a slash and well guess what you no longer consent that color the colorable contract is no longer binding and that's enough because you have a prior declaration and a reservation of rights and under the law you are not no longer obligated see I don't want you to know that see I know that because I had to that's why we're here so at some point I would imagine if we just simply uh, you know those of you that are in a position to actively declare uh, that you uh, that if you you've withdrawn your uh, consent and, and and know this this is not a club this is not a gang this is a bunch this is a uh, the, 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 these are just people that have decided to independently withdraw their consent from the societal contract and the social contract and this civilization this common agreement because I do not agree with what this society is doing and where this society is going. No, absolutely not. And all I'm simply saying is no. And everybody else is free to do this. Now, hey, you know, if you, if you think that this society is better off with, you know, uh, <coughs> like 90% of us uh, knocked off, um, okay, yeah, you go ahead. You just... You just see how that works out. Me, and I'm sure I'm not alone here, me and everybody else, we've got a different idea. And we will we will just see who wins here. And I'll bet you there's more of me out here than there is of these criminals. And if you want to be that criminal, then there's more of us than you. And we're done suffering for your stupid nonsense. That's it. We've had enough. At some point, there's going to be so many of us. We'll be able to see who we are because, you know, we'll have these things on our car. Uh, you know, th these things will start showing up all over the place. You know, if you just want to use the little, you know, empty set symbol. And, you know, if you don't know what that means, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll explain it to you. It's in my videos. But I'm, I'll include uh, some additional information on there. And if you guys want to post your declaration, you know, change the text, post your declaration with your name and the date on there, onto that, we can see how many we are. And if we're walking around with little lapel pins or, you know, hey, you know, if you want to come up with a gang sign, hey, yeah, what about, you know, what about this or what about this? You know, where you put a circle with a little slash. There it is. You know, hey, it's everything's okay, right? So we start seeing this show up all over the place. We're going to know how many we are. Well, we already know how many we are. I mean, the criminals who think they run this place are, are, are small. And at one point, when we decide, hey, we're, gonna, we're, we're just going to deprive them of their power, shake them down and put them on poles or hang them by their necks or cut off their heads, because of the criminality that they are forcing other people to do, because guess what? They still they haven't withdrawn their consent. They're still criminally culpable here. So we get rid of them. Done. And we decide to return to, uh, 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 we decide to return to a, a society and to a civilization that is actually acting in our own best interest. 
that are protecting our rights, that is teaching us the law so that we know what our responsibilities are, so that we can create governmental systems that are lawful, constitutionally based, and in our own best interest. So, here we are. I say, you know, it's not an army. There's no need to fight. No bloodshed, no protest, no nothing. We just simply identify ourselves or we just simply inside, if we're scared of being killed, you know, if we're, if we're scared of being found out that we've withdrawn our consent, we can continue to do everything we can. To, to conceal the fact that we no longer consent. So what we what we will do is we'll start redirecting the suffering and, and, and the injustice and the deprivation and all the consequences of these, these specific deprivation of rights from the people who withdraw their consent to the people who are perpetrating this nonsense. And I'll bet you most people are going to get on board with this because they really have no choice. Now, you can look at me and say, hey, you know, you're out of your mind. This will never work. Okay. Just remember that there's going to be other people who are going to be on the other side of that. And it's you that are going to be suffering the consequences. So I think this is a great day. Uh, it, it, it's, it's May 19. Uh, I, I think uh, once we make a, a declaration that we... Oh, see, I've already withdrawn my consent a long time ago. And... And it completely changed my life. Um, it's changed the lives of other people, too. Um, I, I think it's time for most people to actually, uh, you know, take off the dirty underwear and put on a new pair. Hmm? So this is Roge out in Tiki Grove. You know, I just thought, you, thought I'd give you this little introduction. And now I'm going to go to work. And you guys, you know, if you, you share the information... You know, hey, discreetly, there is no reason to put yourself in danger. I, nobody expects you to do that, right? Nobody expects you to change your behavior. Because at the end of this, we're going to say, hey, wait a minute. Okay, all everybody who's, who's withdrawn their consent, okay, we understand why you engaged in that particular behavior. We understand that you're conscious of what it was that you're doing. And we understand that you withdrew your consent and that you felt that you had no choice. At which point, we can offer forgiveness to those people. Because they, like us, were as trapped as we were. And we can exercise compassion. And we can exercise mercy. All of those, those truly humane, valiant, and noble qualities that this society no longer promulgates and and and, and 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 spreads let's stop being this way i'm road and i'm sure we'll be talking again take care